quest for the ultimate cake was created for RPGMaker.net's 4-hour contest. As such, the game is a bit rough around the edges, but despite those issues, the game is rather average in both its presentation and gameplay. As such, there isn't much to complain about, and I find it hard to take the problems that are left all that seriously considering the time limit of the contest. As such, this game makes for a decent time killer, but if you want a bit more detail, then feel free to continue watching. I still wouldn't recommend it over better games like A Hint of Tint or Devil Hunter Seeker of Power, but it does make for a decent time killer as I already stated. You play as a trio of adventurers who are currently running low on funds and are in desperate need of a job that will weigh down their purse strings. Just as things seem hopeless, a wandering baker overhears their situation and offers them a job with substantial pay. With that out of the way, the adventurers set them to gather the final ingredients necessary to make the ULTIMATE CAKE! Quest for Ultimate Cake is your standard turn-based RPG with random encounters. While the random encounter rate in this game is rather high, despite that, the game manages to balance itself out with the final boss battle being a reasonable challenge despite all the levels you'll gain from killing every slime, spider, hornet, and bat that gets in your way. On a slightly more mixed note, the game completely restores the character's HP, MP, and removes all negative status conditions whenever the character in question levels up. While this isn't a feature I haven't seen before, and wouldn't be a weakness in and of itself, it does render the inn in the middle of town almost entirely superfluous, since you'll largely be able to level up so fast that it'd be faster to heal by just killing enemies and gaining experience than running back to town and hitting up the inn for some bed rest in most instances. Graphically speaking, the game relies on the default graphics and effects that come with RPG Maker VX. While this isn't surprising, it does mean the game lacks any sort of visual edge that fails to stand out in comparison to many of the other freely available games. But being average in this category isn't an issue in my opinion. On the plus side, the mapping of the game is rather solid, with areas neither feeling pointlessly large or filled with more objects than necessary. As you would expect, the game doesn't really stand out in this area either. The game relies on the default tracks that come with the engine, and as such there isn't anything particularly interesting to listen to. But none of the songs feel misused or annoying, which is always a plus. But the only real downside I can lob at the game in this area is that there is no background music in the pub when the game first starts. 